Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Becca. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you saw by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be just talking about how I take slash how I took notes in nursing school. If you're new here, I actually just graduated nursing school in August. So I'm not quite in nursing school, but I still feel like that even makes this video so much better because now that I've trialed and errored everything in nursing school, school i now have this video to talk about for all of you if you have seen my channel before i did film one of these videos i think like a year ago now i unfortunately had to take it down i felt like because you all seem to really enjoy that video and i did have someone comment recently asking about it so i just thought might as well film another one new and improved the app that i use to take notes has actually done like a big update since i've last filmed and it's changed quite a few things so i feel like this will be an even better video that's why i'm kind of deciding to put this out there again i really do feel like the tips and tricks that i have are beneficial and i feel like they really helped me get good grades i remember once i started to do this like method that i'm going to talk about i got like the best grade i've ever gotten on one of my hardest classes exams i just wanted to share these things with you and then in return just for this video don't forget to subscribe it helps me so much and it also just makes me so happy to see all of you enjoy my content and subscribe and be here for all of the fun stuff on my channel i will be talking about the note-taking app notability i know another one out there is good notes and i have tried good notes but it just isn't for me it really resonates with some people but for me i just prefer notability so that's what i'm going to be talking about today not to say that these tips won't help you if you do prefer good notes i just want to put that disclaimer out there because that is just the app that i prefer and it's the app that i'm going to be showing you and talking about today now without further ado let's get into what you came here to see this is my ipad and i absolutely love using an ipad in nursing school not to say that you need one it's definitely not a necessity but it is a tool that I found very very helpful. I will tell you on the very first day of nursing school I came in with paper and pencil and that is all that I had really known up to this point that just didn't work out So the next day I came to school with an iPad and that didn't work out all this to say trial and error If you don't like taking notes on the iPad day one, you're not alone I hated taking notes on the iPad the first day that I tried it and now here I am teaching you how to do just that so just take this with a grain of salt because sometimes it gets like getting used to especially since i went from paper and pencil to this this is the ipad i'll tell you all the fun specs and information over here if you're interested otherwise i'll probably just link it in my amazon storefront the next thing is this case this case is from apple it's not my favorite but this was actually my husband's old ipad so this is just the one that he chose what i don't love about it is just that the pencil just like hangs loose and it can like fall off and it's i lose things all the time so that is just something i don't love about it but it's a okay, case so it's fine and then the screen is actually something i want to talk about so i have a screen called paper feel and this is not sponsored but i think everybody should have this screen protector it is linked in my amazon storefront because i love it that much and i want everybody watching this to go buy it basically it just gives your ipad the feel like you're writing on paper and especially coming from the paper and pencil notes i was talking about to go into the ipad the like shiny screen protector i just was not loving so i tried out the screen protector from amazon and i loved it i feel like i've gotten everybody that has an ipad in my family on it because it's just my favorite thing that's kind of everything about the ipad now we're going to talk about actually the note taking part of this so i'm actually going to scoot over so that we can see the side by side right here this is the notability app and i just want to first talk about the way that i organize everything as you can see on the left side here i have my subjects i have summer spring fall summer and also i do want to make a note i don't pay for notability which is why i have this pop-up in the bottom left corner i didn't pay for it all through nursing school and I was just fine some people might prefer or like the features that are offered when you pay for notability plus but i just want to put a side note that i did not pay for notability plus the way that i have my 
Notability organized is by semester. So as you can see, I started nursing school summer of 2022 and then it was four consecutive semesters. So that's why it goes up to summer of 2023. And that was my last semester. I just have the dividers as the white text, which is each semester and then I have subjects under each divider so the subjects as you can see are color coordinated and these are my classes from each semester so as you can see in summer of 2022 I took foundations professional roles one maternal and infant and I took clinical management one that's how I like to organize it some people like to organize it by exams so each subject is actually like exam one exam two and then they will put the corresponding powerpoints and notes into those subjects but this is just what works for my brain. Another thing that I do is I color coordinate. So as you can see, I have foundations as red and professional roles as orange, etc. This coordinates to my canvas. On my canvas app, I have made the foundations class red. I made the professional roles class orange. And so every time I think of foundations, it made me think red. I think of clinical management, I think of purple. And this correspond with every semester going forward so that I could just keep it clear in my brain that professional roles is orange and then I would add in colors and different topics and classes based on that semester. That's how I like to have it organized and then as you can see to the right I have all my notes and they're just all over here and it can look kind of intimidating because I do have literally hundreds of notes but I just like how they're organized and when I go to click on a particular class it will pull up like all the notes that I had for that class. So now I'm going to show you an actual note and just talk about what we have here. So first I'm actually gonna talk about the features at the top. This is something that changed since my last video. They've just added so many different features I feel like. But let's just talk about the things that you can use at the top. So this is your pen obviously and you can change the size of your pen. I usually prefer something a little bit on the smaller end, like three to six, uh, three to five probably. And then you can change the colors and you can even like rearrange the colors on your bar so that if you use some colors more than others, it's just easier to toggle between those. You can also customize and make new colors, literally so many different options. And you can just make more, which is super fun. And then you can change, you know, which ones are here at the top. And I don't know why I have two blacks, but you can also like delete one and add just as you prefer. The next setting, oh, and let me show you what it writes like. So this is how the pen writes. And then this is the next one, which is the pencil. And it writes a little bit chalky. I don't know how to explain that, but it looks a little bit different as you can see. This is the highlighter and looks like that. And then this is the eraser. And you can change the sizes. You can change if it's like a partial or whole erase. Okay, this is like if you would want to add in some type of text box. And I think it's in white right now, but that's how you would do that. This is when you want to like select a group of notes or a group of text. I use this sometimes when I need to like move stuff around. So that is something that I use often. And then this feature is like images. So you can add in your own images. You can do stickers. You can do, and they have some really, really cute ones too. You can do GIFs, GIFs. You can do sticky notes, which I've used before, just to like add in some more space and information. This next thing is when you record something, which I'm gonna talk about later in the video, but that's a really, really helpful feature, especially when I was in school, I used that literally every day. And then we move over, this is a little hand feature. This is the laser, so you can like point to things. This is, oh, this is something that's kind of cool. So say you're in like study mode and you're trying to quiz yourself, you can use this and like erase, well not erase, but just cover up what you're trying to remember or memorize. And then you can just like move that when you're done with that feature. This is obviously a microphone, so it's gonna record. And then this is a ruler, which where was this when I was in nursing school? 
because I am a little bit OCD when it comes to my notes. So everything has to be like straight and look nice or I just feel like I'm never going to want to look at my notes again. So this is so amazing, especially if you're doing like math and like need to draw stuff or if you're just OCD like me and you need straight lines on your notes. So this is super awesome for that. So that's everything up there. Oh, also over here, we've got the undo on the side, the redo on the side. This is like exporting it, sharing it, and template settings, which also I really love because you can make your paper line, you can make it grid, you can make it dots, you can make these really cool things at the top where people have made templates for you to use. I just absolutely love that. And then this is the pages button so you can see all your notes at a glance and you can bookmark them if they're important to you and you need to go review them. Now I want to get into what I would do before, during, and after class to help me succeed. The hardest class in my program was called clinical management and this class included the patho, the farm, the anatomy, the physiology, all of it into one. And so that made it my hardest class. And the other thing on top of that was that I had it in three consecutive semesters. So like it just built upon the last class of it so it was super super hard and I remember just struggling with it and it's one thing to like take in the information but then when you go home you have to try to recall things if you haven't written them down or if you don't really have a strategy as to like your notes or you have no idea you know during the lecture you were like scribbling and now you come back home and you can't even understand what your notes were saying that's the other part of it because you have to make the most of the time that you're in lecture so that when you go home and study on your own because you will need to be doing this a lot in nursing school unfortunately you have to make the most of that time as well without your professor sitting right in the same room as you i want to tell you about the strategy that i used so before class i also want to use the example of having this clinical management every friday so in my second semester i had this class every friday and i was preparing for this class every day until Friday. Let's say today is Monday. On Monday, I would go and download all of the applicable PowerPoints for Friday, as well as the blank guided notes. My professors were so kind and provided us with not only PowerPoint, but also with a blank study guide, note guide, kind of just like a template for us as we were going through each lecture. It's not crucial. You can truly make your own version of this if your professors don't provide that, but because my professors provided all of those things, that is what I would use because I want to pass their exam. And usually it would be maybe like two to three PowerPoints. And usually the PowerPoints were like upwards of 50 slides, they were very, very long, usually. Obviously, there were some that were shorter, but what I want to get at is that it was just a lot of information to get through before Friday. And so what I did before Friday is I made it a goal to get through every PowerPoint at least one time. So I would go through each PowerPoint and I would fill out the study guide that corresponded with the PowerPoint so that I was able to almost teach myself or just like understand topics to a certain extent because, you know, there's still times where I would go to class and be super confused. But just the fact that I was exposing myself to information before I ever got to class. By the time I got to class on Friday, my guided notes were filled out. Whether that was typed up, handwritten on my iPad, they were finished. And that means that I went through the information at least one time before class on Friday. And I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Obviously I had clinicals and working and things like that. So there were weeks that I couldn't get to everything, but I tried my very best to get through as much of the material as possible. And this would take me hours, literally hours. So let me just show you an example. Okay, so here is an example of one of those weeks. So again, I have class Friday, but before Friday I've filled out this whole guided note. And this would take me, like I said, hours, just because for one thing I like my stuff to look 
pretty but then as you can see i have multiple colors so i want to emphasize something so the red handwriting is before i've ever gotten to class i'm going through this information i don't really know what most of these words mean but i am exposing myself to some vocabulary and some concepts and so red equals the first time that i'm ever seeing this information the blue i'm going to talk about in a little bit but i just want to show you to what extent i was preparing for my lectures i know it looks like a lot of stuff but it really paid off so you kind of get the idea i've gone through this information one time before my lecture on friday so now it's friday i've already gone through the powerpoints and just exposing myself to even some vocabulary and some concepts before class i feel like is really game changing because then i can go into lecture and then they say something like sepsis and then i'm like oh i actually have no idea what that means i need to pay attention or they would say like cardiogenic shock and i would be like oh that's something that i was not understanding when i went through it the first time let me focus a little bit more on what you're about to say so now we're in lecture and the first thing that i do is i press this record button at the top this was game changing for me. When I tell you like I went through a lot of lectures before I started doing this and I feel like it really changed the way that I scored on exams and the way that I studied at home. What I want to caution you with though is I think that you have to like ask professors before you do this and obviously don't go and post like the PowerPoint, the recorded PowerPoints and everything online. Just ask like before class or at the beginning of the semester if you can record the lectures and yeah because i just don't know the legal rules with that but basically just like cover your butt with it so now we're in lecture i pressed record and we're going through each slide okay so we're talking about this one and i'm gonna highlight because we are talking about that and then i'm gonna highlight this because we're on this slide Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm actually like time stamping the part of the recording that corresponds with the slide that we're on. This is gonna like help me so much by the time I get home. And it doesn't have to be like full on highlighting the whole top part. It can seriously be a dot or just like a star or like whatever you wanna do. Basically, I'm just marking every time we're moving on to the next slide because I will show you something that, that comes in hand at the end of lecture and the after lecture part. So this is what I'm doing during lecture, just highlighting topic, making notes on each slide. If there's just something that resonates with me or something I need to remember. And then we're just going through and I'm taking it as much as I can. So now class is over, lecture's over, it's time to go home. And this is where there's a lot of on you studying because you went to school, you got the information you needed, and now you need to make it solid in your brain. But luckily, you have recorded the lectures, so you do have that, and you can use that as a resource. So this is what I did once I got home. Sometimes I would do it the same day, like if I have lecture Friday, I'm going home Friday afternoon, and I am re-watching the lectures. Sometimes I can't do that because I have like information overload and I cannot do another nursing school thing, so I do it the next day. But you just want to try to do it as soon as you can to the information that you just got. So lectures Friday, I want to review this lecture and listen to it again as soon as I can. Okay, so now this is the strategy that I do. I have Notability on my iPad, but I also downloaded it on my laptop. And this isn't something you have to do. This is just something that I did. I would set up my iPad in front of me and then I would have my laptop also in front of me. And I would airdrop the recorded Notability lecture to my laptop. So now my laptop is the lecture and the iPad is where I'm gonna take notes again. But the key is that I'm not going to take notes on the PowerPoint anymore. I'm going to go back to those notes that I took Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday leading up to lecture. So I'm gonna go back to those notes. This is the third time I'm going over this PowerPoint. The first time was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The second time was Friday in class. And the third time is when I'm at home and I'm going to listen to the lecture, follow along in the PowerPoint and write in my notes. Here I am, I'm listening to the recording on my laptop and I have my pen, but this is where the second color comes into play. I have the red, which I talked about was the first time I ever saw the information. The second color, the blue, the blue is the second time I am seeing 
the information on my notes. So if I ever write in anything other than red on my notes, whether it's on a PowerPoint or on these guided notes, blue means I'm going over it a second time and this is everything that I got from re-listening. It means I've re-listened and I took different things away. Typically, if I have a third color, it means that I probably listened to the lecture again and I got more stuff out of it or I just wanna make different notes that need to stand out from the red and the blue. This just goes to show you how much information you take listening to something the first time, second time, third time. You need to like hear things multiple times. I feel like personally, I need to hear things multiple times before things start to stick in my brain. And so that's why this strategy is just so great for me because by the time it's test day, I've listened to most of this information for a minimum of like three times. Some I struggled with, so I would have to go in and watch it for another time, making it four times of exposure. Or there would be like certain parts of a lecture that I would re-listen to. That's why there's so many different colors going on here. And then I even highlight stuff. I draw arrows, I star things. There's just a lot going on. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was when you are in the PowerPoint, and you can do this on your laptop if you choose to like airdrop it to your laptop, or if you're just watching it on your iPad, that record feature, so we can press play and obviously just start listening to it, but also, remember when we timestamped each PowerPoint slide during the lecture? So now, do you see when we press play to watch it, everything goes like a lighter color? My writing went like super light. Now, if in real time, it will like show you what slide you're on. So if I don't remember something about like who's at risk, I can click on that and it bumps me right to that portion of the PowerPoint, like the lecture, because now we're at a minute 39 in. Or if I'm like, oh, I remember there's something I needed to know about long-term impacts, long-term impacts, where is that? Oh, okay, here, okay. And then it puts me right at that point in the lecture. We're at three minutes and nine seconds into the lecture. This is a feature that I really, really love, and I felt like it was really helpful because especially with nursing school, there will be topics that you'll hear and then you'll go home and then you'll try to recall it, but you don't even know where to begin. So you can just go through your PowerPoint and you can find the exact slide or the exact note that you made during class and go right to that point. Okay, so my camera died, but I think that actually wraps up everything as far as the before lecture prep, what I do during lecture, and then what I do after lecture just to study and reinforce the information. I spent most time in the after because it really is like what you put into it. So at the end of the day, hopefully something that I've talked about today you can use and even if it's just like one thing or a portion of it but you do need to find out like for yourself what works best this is what worked best for my learning style hopefully some of it is gonna help you it's gonna take a second to figure out your note-taking strategies and what works best for you i didn't even do this strategy till like second semester or the end of first, some of my test grades can show that. It's gonna take trial and error. You gotta just figure out what works best for you. And if you're watching this because you're in nursing school or you're about to enter nursing school, you've got this, congratulations, you can do it. You'll figure it out. If you have any questions specific to this video, just leave them in the comment section. I would love to interact with you and answer any questions you might have about this or just questions in general or videos you would wanna see in the future. As I was explaining at the beginning of this video, I'm no longer in nursing school, but I do feel like these tips and tricks can be relevant to anybody before nursing school in nursing school or even if you want to go to grad school so yeah i hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and it just helps me out so much and then also don't forget to like this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys